This is Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk about uh, purifying water with a couple different technologies. Uh, here we have reverse osmosis, and over here we have a distillation unit. Let's take a look at them. And I did a review on both of these independently, and now I'm going to do a comparison between them, a scientific comparison. We'll see. Okay, so this guy over here is a reverse osmosis machine. You put water in the back here, like so, and then it pumps it through some membranes and filters. But the critical thing is the uh, reverse osmosis membrane, and it pumps it up with a high pressure pump into the front area. And then you can use this part as a pitcher, or it actually has a uh, water dispenser. If you have a glass, you can stick it under there and it will dispense the water. So this guy runs and uh, it will fill this whole container, which is comparable size to this one over here. This is four liters, I know. I haven't measured this one, but it looks about the same size. In about 10 minutes or so, it will pump all the water from the back chamber to the front. Now here is our distillation unit. And basically you fill this bottom part inside with wa hot water or water and it heats it up and then it condenses it up here. It's got a fan and it distills it out this little tap into this giant coffee pot looking container. And this is all distilled water. Okay. And let's uh, compare the energy output of these guys. Okay, so this one runs for about 10 minutes. This one takes about four hours to distill about the same amount of water. Okay. Okay, so it's about six o'clock. And I'll just start this thing going. And we will see how long this thing takes to do something. Okay, just out of curiosity how much power this thing is using. Looks like it's using about 727 watts. Okay, and we are coming up on three and a half hours of operation. And I think we're approaching the end of this cycle. Looks like, let's take a look here. Looks like it's still dripping out water though, so we're still running at three and a half hours. Okay. 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 It looks like our device just shut off by itself after four hours, and claims it made about four liters of of water in four hours. And so, okay. Let's take a look inside of here. It made about four liters of water in about four hours. Okay, so let's now compare uh, those results from the distillation machine to our reverse osmosis machine. Okay. Okay, so we have to remove this container after we've done a cycle and we'll empty it and fill it back up with tap water. Like so. It'll take a while for that to get full. Okay. And then when that's finished, I'll take some of this water. I can smell the chlorine already. Okay. back onto the unit and it will start pumping you can hear the pump running start pumping water from the back tank to the front tank okay let's check our, our watt meter over here and it looks like it's about oh, let's get a little light on here about 60 volt amps or 60 watts okay and I know that this other unit was running about it claims 750, but it was like about 720 or so, a little bit less. Okay. 
you can actually see the water going through the system and pumping up in the front so it does this within probably about 10 minutes or so to replenish this tank okay so let's do a quick comparison Recycled until it, the bad water accumulates back here, and you have to throw out about a third of it. It's not used. Okay. Okay. A quick comparison of these technologies. So here's a reverse osmosis, and here's the distillation unit. So with this guy, he runs maybe a tenth of an hour to make about the same amount of water as this, and he requires about 60 watts of power to run. Okay, so that's about six watt hours, six watt hours. Okay, this guy here requires about 750 watts, it's a little bit less than that, and about four hours to run, so that's about three kilowatt hours. So 3,000 watts hours uh, compared to six watt hours. So this is much more energy intensive. Um, this is a lot quicker. It's a lot more convenient in a lot of ways. This one cost, I think, about $300. This one cost about half the price, around $150. Um, of course, this has reverse osmosis uh, membranes that wear out. Let's take a look again at them. They also have some other filters, but these have to be replaced about once a year, where, in principle, the distillation unit doesn't have any uh, things that can break like that. So it should be good through an apocalypse if you need for sure water <laughs> always. Uh, this would be a good backup maybe. Okay, anyway, I usually use this unit, but I'm planning to use this one out uh, someplace where uh, it's not used as much, but need water. Need You always need clean water, right? Okay. So anyway, there is a comparison between the two different devices. We compared the uh, time that it takes to uh, run the machine, the amount of energy and the maintenance, and uh, the cost. Anyway, anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.